I'm at the border between Montenegro and Albania, right by this bunker where I just got a first tattoo. This year, I've been living by two words. These two words are taking me to places I never thought I'd go. They're leading me to do things I never thought I'd do. It's funny, my entire education has been centered around the idea that I should know what I'm doing as an adult. But in the 23rd year of my life, I'm learning as much about myself as I ever have. This is a story about surprises. Welcome to Albania, man. Dude, literally, welcome to Albania, like right there. <laughs> Bro. The two words that I'm referring to are amor fati. In Latin, they mean love of fate, and I loosely translate them to mean love what happens to you. I can't believe that the first thing we're doing is a tattoo. It's literally 10 a.m. Yeah. You know? 10 a.m. tattoo? I feel like I stumbled upon this idea when in the throes of unhappiness, in moments where I felt myself fighting everything that was happening to me. It's getting a closer look at uh, Albanian traffic. This is pure chaos. For me, this idea represents a seismic shift, a 180 degree turn towards life, not away from it. There's another car that's double parked. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, double parked right there. Oh my God. And somebody's crossing. I'm trying to move towards things that scare me, not away from them. Back when I went to Albania a few months ago, one of the things that was on my mind a lot at the time was how dramatically we all interact with the unknown on a daily basis. Listen, Thomas, get your shit together, man. Hey, Come man. <laughs> Let's get, get your shit together, man. We're still deciding what tattoos we're getting, okay? <laughs> and we're fucking here. So he's drawing yours, like, still larger than, like, I don't know, is that the size? Is he doing the size that you want now? It's a little bit larger than I thought. Yeah, that's what I was, okay. We're trying to, like, kind of match here, aren't we? <laughs> we're kind of getting matching tattoos, dude. <laughs> dude I, don't, I don't know if I want to ask him. It struck me that we have a choice at every single moment. We can choose to embrace this unknown or we fight against it. By default, if we let fear decide, we fight against it. But amazing things sometimes happen when we don't fight against it. Jesus. Dude, the impact you have on people is scary. <laughs> oh, that's not that scary thing, man. <laughs> All right, Nathaniel's first tattoo. I'm not the kind of person to do this kind of thing. I don't believe in rushing things or letting others pressure us into making decisions that are not our own. Oh man, I think that'd look really cool. This isn't what happened here. Okay, let's do it. Up until the morning of, I was fairly convinced I wouldn't be getting a tattoo. But then the moment okay. came and it felt right. It was as if the meaning of this action became clear as a direct result of the people that I was with and what I was experiencing in that moment. The man tattooing me is an Albanian ex-prisoner called Kek Marku, who at one time lost his way and then returned to Albania to reinvent himself. He turned one of the many bunkers here into his own personal tattoo parlor. Thank you very much, sir. Fina Medarit? Thank you. I have a, a problem with like doubting myself, you know? Mm. Like I make decisions and then I second guess. Like, should I have like just not filled it? You know, I, oh, I liked the, yeah. just, the, the, just the lines, you know, because I actually was afraid to tell him, like I wanted him to pause for a moment before doing it and I got scared. Did I not pause because I was scared or did I not pause because I genuinely wanted to see there's things that, I, that I'm not always sure about that I commit to, and then I'm like, was I sure about that? And then I kind of torture myself. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Wow. Holy shit, I, did we seriously get tattoos today? Like, this was way out of character for me. <laughs> and it's weird for me to think I made a sort of in a split decision, in a split moment yeah. uh, of maybe like a few minutes or a few hours this yeah. morning, yeah. I made a permanent decision <laughs> on myself. Yep. And now this vehicle that I'm in, my human body, has so the that. rest of my life, it has it. It's like it has this mark now of this decision. Yeah. I'm really excited and energized in a way by this idea of amor fati. I kind of see it as like a practice, a daily practice, if you will. You know, it's so hard to take everything that life throws at us. I mean, it's easy to take the good stuff, right? The stuff that feels good, but it's a completely different matter. It's a real test of character, if you will how you handle the things that are difficult, the things that are unexpected, the things that are uncomfortable. I have come to see life as chock full of opportunities for reinvention. I feel like we have to reinvent ourselves as people that are growing and evolving. I have felt that really intensely over the last six months, and I feel like if I don't listen to these changes that are happening internally, these shifts in my priorities and whatnot, 
then I run the risk of falling into a rigid, sort of fearful life. I have to throw myself into the next chapter of this narrative and see where it takes me. I have to be willing to sacrifice certain things to open up space for what's to come. At least that's how I see it. Life is persistent and breaks us down in every possible way. And we might feel invincible when we're young, but nothing is permanent. I feel like attachment is what brings all of us unhappiness. It's sort of like getting locked into a specific outcome, if you will, and removing the space to flow with life's inevitable surprises. That's what brings suffering, because when you get stuck on something, when you get rigid, there's no more room to adapt to the inevitable changes and evolutions that come with life, which is impermanent. This is why I love the idea of Amor Fati so much. It is the decision to practice not growing too attached to any single specific outcome, to enthusiastically accepting everything that happens to you. When I was in Albania, I met a few people that really embodied the spirit of Amor Fati and reinvention. This man, Letter, ran away from Albania as a boy, risking his life multiple times in his journey to the UK. When you have no fear, you have nothing to lose, then you can cross everything. You can do anything what's possible. Years later, he returned with the desire to open up his own restaurant. There's an expression in, in Albania that you say, Masu lumturo o lumturu, masu despro i desprum which means never get desperate a desperate person and never get too happy a happy person. So when you are too rich and too exciting, never get too excited. In a very simple word in English, it's like keep your humbleness in every kind of situation. This man, Sokor, is preserving the bunkers here as a memory of the past and as a reminder to celebrate our present freedoms. Albania, after all, suffered from a crazy past and struggled under communism. Questo momento della storia, dopo tutto ciò che è successo nel passato, sì. le, le cose vanno meglio adesso? Sì. Sicuramente è meglio, come no? Sei fare. contento quindi certo, con l'evoluzione del paese? Come no? Sì, sì. Bellissimo! Grazie, amico, grazie. Amico mio. Grazie mille. Se volete il caffè io sto al locale là. Oh my god, I love this guy. He's so cool. Ok, so I'm going to show you now the tattoo. It's really not that impressive, okay? It's just a little tattoo, it's basically three lines. <laughs> it's the second rune in the rune alphabet. Uh, let's see if I can show you, meaning ox. I think I might have it further stylized in the future. Ultimately, the meaning that this has for me was captured in the moment that I got it. Something that I really couldn't have planned for ahead of time. It was really influenced by a good friend who invited me to have an adventure somewhere new. And in a way, I kind of captured that on my body. This is life happening right now. And in every moment, we must make the decision whether we are going to fight what is happening or to accept it. It's really that simple. And I think everything else is just an add-on. It really comes down to that decision, I feel like. This isn't about being active or passive. But really, the way I see it is, it's deciding what kind of relationship that you wanna have with life. So I wanted to take the last portion of this video to talk a little bit more about Amor Fati and how it's gonna play a role in everything that I create moving forward. But before I do that, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video who helped make this travel possible, help make this trip to the Balkans possible. And that sponsor is Huel. Huel Complete Protein is a 100% nutritionally complete high protein snack made from sustainable hemp, fava, and pea protein. The truth is, because I'm spending a lot more time traveling again, I am finding myself in a lot more airports and in situations where it's impossible to get access to healthy food. Also, add to that that I'm usually late to everything. This is just a reality of travel, you know, you're just throwing yourself into the unknown, and it's usually something that I love, but sometimes it also comes with certain challenges. And I do definitely get hangry, so I like to avoid situations where I'm starving wherever possible. The thing I hate about places like airports is that they love to price gouge you because they know you don't have any other choice. You don't have anywhere to go. You know, one time uh, in the Austin airport, I had to buy a $14 sandwich. $14. And when I sat down at the gate a few minutes later and opened it up and took a bite, I looked down at what I've bitten and it's 
moldy. So I had to throw it away. An absolutely ridiculous situation in my opinion. This is why I say Huel is really practical, I'm not gonna lie. I really like the non-flavored, non-sweetened version, uh, and it's perfect with a little bit of oat milk. It's also a great source of vitamin D and essential amino acids. Super easy to prepare, it takes like two seconds, and beam bada bop, I'm no longer at the mercy of whatever the airport is willing to offer me. Essentially, this is a great snack to get you out of a pinch. So if you're interested, you can check out the link in my description to get started today with Huel's Complete Protein, and I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you to Huel for sponsoring this video and making these travels possible. Okay, so I have a few final thoughts to share on Amor Fati and how it relates to my future videos and everything that I create moving forward. I've hinted at a change that has been taking place in my life and in the things that I want to create over the last few months. And honestly, maybe longer than that, really. It's been a shift in worldview. I've really come to question things like productivity and self-improvement and what it's really for, how much that matters to me in the bigger scope of life, in the kind of life that I want to live. You know, there are more people featured in my videos now. I'm, I'm traveling a lot more. I'm going different places because I want to see the world. And so this project of mine is no longer so much more about, dare I say it, my search for mental clarity. That has been a phrase that has meant so much to me over the last few years. It has been really central to so many of the things that I've created, but I feel myself shifting away from it. It feels a little bit less like I'm on a search right now and more like I'm just learning about what it means to live a life of amor fati, about how to live a joyous life rich in depth. To reflect all of this is a total redesign of my logo, a total redesign of my website, and those things are gonna be coming out very soon. I guess a part of me wanted to let you guys know now because things are not going to go back to how they used to be. That's just not how life works, you know? I found something that worked for me for a while, I enjoyed it, I really took as much out of it as I possibly could, and I feel like I've moved on. I just don't want to stay where things are comfortable for too long because I would like to continue to grow as a person, as an artist. That's a core value of mine, the continual commitment to growth and expansion, if you will. I'm using a lot of big fancy words, but I'm just trying to capture this very abstract feeling that I'm having. And so I just wanted to take a moment right now to say thank you to all of you that have stuck around through all of these crazy shifts and changes and evolutions over the last few years. It has really been a wild ride and I continue to believe that this is the very beginning. So many wonderful things are yet to come. If you enjoyed this video and are willing to help me try to reach more people through the algorithms, I think the way to do it is to either give this video a like or leave your thoughts in the comments below, or both. It always means a lot to me that you guys take the time to listen, to watch, to share your ideas and your suggestions. It has really added so much to my life. So thank you so much and I'll see you soon.